Okay, it's a little low light, but I just uh, pulling uh, my spiles at the end of spigots or spiles at the end of the season, and I was just going to show you how the distance that I put them in is not very far. We'll just pull this one to the cat's paw here. Pop it out like that, and uh, I don't know if you can see, but but there's the ridge. And so it, it's in about half an inch into the tree, and I use a 3 8 drill bit, which is actually a little bit smaller than a 7 16 drill bit, which is recommended. Next year, I'm going to go even uh, 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 smaller with the holes. I mean, that's how far it went in. And I believe I, I w could go even half the distance. Just get it past the bark and you're going to get uh, probably more sap flow. No need to bang them all in. We're putting massive holes. This was a good producing tree. And uh, you're really only supposed to drill your holes in the tree. All right, there it is right there. About uh, an inch and a half. Some say two inches, but really in a, an inch and a half, you'd, you'd be fine if you, your spile's only going in half an inch. Next year, I'm only going to put mine quarter, quarter of an inch and maybe even less than the size of the hole. And really where I'm at, these t I'm probably the first one that's ever tapped these trees. So uh, if you're tapping regular, you want to make small as holes possible.